You're listening to I'm So Vain with Josh Carmichael, only on L.A. Talk Radio. Hey, here we are, live. Josh Carmichael, welcome to I'm So Vain. It's Tuesday, 11 a.m. Yes, you already know that because you're, um, you're with us here. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. We are live in Sherman Oaks, California, coming to you from L.A. Talk Radio, as you've noticed from our intro. I just want to say um, I always play that song for, for those of you just tuning in. That little 30 seconds of our intro song, I don't know, for me, it just kind of gets me pumped up. I hear it on my side. I, I, I like you guys to hear it. It just has that feeling of, you know, it gives you a little energy, gives you, takes you out of what you were doing before, and hopefully, hopefully it, um, it, it picks, your, uh, picks your pace up for you a little bit as well. So we have a cool show today. We have a, um, a, a speaker and an author and a, a, a guy who has a, a lot of energy and a, and a, and a big a big force, a big presence. So before I introduce him, I just want to uh, just kind of catch up and talk to you guys about uh, what's going on and what's going on with us. We um, we have a, a Patreon account that you'll see uh, attached to our, our website and our, our YouTube account. Um, it's actually through YouTube. A uh, Patreon account is a membership or a sponsor page. And for about the price of a overpriced coffee that you guys normally buy every morning, um, you could become a member or, or have a membership or a subscription and that money goes to or that donation basically goes to it's a it's a monthly subscription it goes to help us uh, produce the show and 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 help with um, you know the back-end cost of, of what it takes to to keep this machine rolling for you guys so if you'd like to help us out uh, it's uh, good our YouTube account it is on there um, we'll also have it we'll have it linked here below once we load this up so it's a uh, it's patreon.com and I think it's forward slash I'm so vain so um, check that out we'd love to have you guys on board and uh, by the way what you get from that membership there's three tiers there's seven eleven and a twenty four dollar um, buy-in what you get is not only a, a shout out we'll give you um, a, a, like monthly we will be giving away um, a free a prize or a gift excuse me but um, you also get to be talked about or promoted on the show you know, you know for for the entry fee entry amount we'll give you kind of a one-time shout out and 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 or you know uh, post your link or website whatever you guys would like to, on that so um, let us know we just you know we're, we're trying to create this for you guys get more involvement get more feedback and uh, we're just doing the best we can to, to keep this rolling and make it more exciting for you so let's get on with it shall we I'm so vain, Ellie Talk Radio, YouTube, I'm so vain, Facebook, I'm so vain show, and uh, here we go. Our guest today is a dynamic and entertaining gentleman who comes to us all the way from Westlake Village, California. Um, he's been seen all over the country. He's, he's helped a lot of people in doing what he's doing. He is a uh, communication skills expert he's certified in NLP um, he's a certified NLP trainer if you don't know what NLP is you're about to find out so I'm not going to tell you too much more about that we're going to get into that that's what the show's about he's written a book uh, right here called discovering NLP so if you don't get enough from us today please check out the book you can uh, get it on Amazon as well um, discovering NLP Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce John James Santangelo. Yeah, come on in. Yeah, you hear the crowd? They're out there. They're out there. Oh, thank you, America. Me. Yeah. Hey, buddy, how are you? Hey, Josh. Welcome. Welcome. Yes. Welcome. You got some water over there. Thank you. Thank you. Cozy on up. We're, uh, we're all Woo! Good. This is going to be fun. Welcome. We're going to have fun today. We're going to learn a lot. You guys are going to learn a lot. So did you, uh, you design all this cover here? 
I had help. I like it. Uh, that's your, is that your brain Smith? exploding on a normal day? Yeah, isn't it right? So <laughs> that's what I look like normally. That's after that's after I got married. Huh, honey? <laughs> so quickly before we before we get into this, uh, I just want to kind of let people know. A lot of people don't know what NLP stands for yeah. or what it is and how it how it can affect you and how how it helps you in your life. Yeah. Can you give us a little? Let's start with that. Give us yeah. a little breakdown. You know, the the simple. The, the, the yeah, simple. the simple yeah, version. Yeah, you, you know a little a lot about I, it. Actually. I've studied it myself. So yes, it's yes. it's NLP, neuro linguistic programming. It is neuro the mind body. How the mind body work together. Uh, linguistic is the language that we use to communicate with ourselves right. in, inside and how we communicate with other people and the programming part, which is. I kind of equate it to the recipes. If you have a recipe for a chocolate cake, it's kind of the strategies that we run inside. You could you could say almost they're the habits that we use to produce results. We right. have ones for driving. We have ones for procrastination. We have ones for making love, brushing our teeth. We have some for success. We have some for doing what you do every single day. The challenge is when they developed this years ago was how are people getting change? How are people mm. changing? Like everybody wants to change something about themselves, right? We always want to become better and more. Well, right. how, how does that happen in the, in the brain? Well, these two guys, Richard Bandler and John Grinder, started working with therapists, some of the, okay. the best therapists at the time, to create change. And they distilled out the strategies or the recipes that they were using to implement change in other people. And so then, yeah. we were talking about this yeah, before, yeah, yeah. Tony Robbins came along. I was trained by the same people that trained Tony, but Tony was a great marketer and just took it to a whole new level. Right. He put it into the public sphere of you know, doing the whole rock and roll events and seminars and teaching a little bit about NLP. Right. So, so is, there, is there like a simple, um, like two or three questions you can ask you normally ask people to kind of find out where they are. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, it's kind yeah, of. I mean, is it that simple? I mean, it, I, it's when a I was little studying, bit more complex. I, I learned like yeah. there's certain yeah. there's certain like I don't want to say like code words, but there's certain phrases you could ask someone to see what the response was and how it connected to NLP. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, yeah. If you get a little bit deeper, and that's if we were in a coaching session, most of the time, and we we talked about this before, because Josh mm -hmm. and I met before this. It's I just say, look, I'm your travel agent. Mm -hmm. What's the first question I'm going to ask you, right, is where are we going? Right. Because most, here's the biggest, I mean, most of you out there, and you too, we talked about right, some of the right, books absolutely. you've read and the people. Yeah. It's amazing. I was really, actually really impressed, really, because very few people do the research and know what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. Out of everything I've studied, probably you too, read all the books, done all the seminars, listened to all the audio programs, success comes down to two things. It really is this simple. It's knowing what you want. Clarity is power, and right. I say that over right. and over again in the book. Yep. And the second is learning to get out of your own way. Yeah, that's, that's a good the one. biggest challenge people have. They get stuck because most of it's just fear. Yeah, fear is. I think fear is the basis of most Absolutely. of it. And then when you do ask someone what they want, right, a lot of they're times they don't know. Or yeah, they, or, or they, here's here this, or, or this is what I get. Of, yeah, yeah, very. Yeah, like, like, well, I just want to be happy. Like, yeah. uh, okay, you've never been happy in your right. life. Well, yeah. Can you think of a time? This is where we start using yeah, NLP. Right. Can you think of a time? Yeah. Go back to that time. Remember what it was like. See what you see. Hear what you hear. Feel what you felt. Step into that moment. How do you feel? I feel happy. Great. Now what? What's next? <laughs> yeah, no, what's or here's the best one. I just want more money. More and money. I pull out a dollar yeah. bill and go here. There's more money. Now are you happy? Right. <laughs> right? Which yeah. so it's being specific, clarity, yeah. being more specific about what and you want. And then I agree. And what are the things you need? Yeah, no, that's what's I next? Think, what are I the think, resources? And and that's that's the key. Really finding that uncovering that. So through the through the training of, of NLP, you can you can what do you say? You 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 remove those blocks for people. Yeah, what, what I mean, is the, in the, what is the, my live course, you know, I'll do some shameless plug here. We do a, a six weekend course. It's twelve days. It's ten hours a day to get licensed as an NLP practitioner, and it's basically going through step by step. One is the first day we really uncover why are you here? What do you okay. want? What are we going to work on? What do you want by the end of the six weeks? And then through the rest of the program, it's pretty much uncovering. 
the roadblocks or the obstacles that hold mm. people back. And we have very specific techniques to help them get through that stuff. And so they learn it not only for themselves personally, but they can go out and now help other people as well. And that's that's kind of the key to life. It's kind of what you're doing. Yeah, right? well, that's good. Yeah, absolutely. To help other people yeah. with your new book. My new book. Let's, yeah, let's yeah. plug your book. Yeah, What's let's plug called? my I plug my book almost every time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but my book's not right here. That's right okay. Now. We're, we're it's, close. It's we're coming. Close. It's coming. Well, my yeah, yeah, launch yeah. date is November. I want yeah. to. That's, that's the. It, because there's a formula to that. Yeah. And and, and, and and you can have a book like this big. Yeah. <laughs> Shameless plug. Yeah. Uh, your your uh, website is lanlp.com, com, yeah. right? And um, you have you have uh, online courses, I yeah, believe, we do as a well. Yeah, a lot of online courses. We do a lot of live stuff. I do a lot of coaching. If some of you are interested in learning, you know, a basic introduction to NLP, I have a free mini course that you can go sign up for lanlp.com forward slash free or if you want to go straight to the actual page itself it's free nlp lessons.com and it'll give you seven days of a taste of what this is all about and some of the one of the one of the days that we um, we offer them is simply this the language that we use in our in our own head and we all have negative programming we all have negative dialogue that we talk about because that's one of the things people consistently ask me is how do i get rid of that negative self talk well here's here's a simple a simple exercise get rid of three words in your internal language one is but the word but is a negation it negates everything right. that comes forward yeah. it's like saying my wife's sitting over here so honey i love you so much but and anything a after that is really ridiculous because right. you don't listen to that right so yeah. we, we replace it starts it. over it starts over from there yes it's like a zero exactly back, bound back and it doesn't have any meaning so right. we use the word and instead of the word but here's another one we, we talked about before the word try get word get rid of that word try here's the definition trying is excusing failure in yeah. advance I know. I like. I like when people say, "No, but I'm trying to change, or I'm trying to get better." All right? No, I'm trying either to do you this. Do you're either you doing don't. it or you're not. Exactly. You're either you're either moving exactly. or you're sitting still. Exactly. You can't yeah. go. Yeah. You know, here's a, here's a great exercise. We, we do. You have a pen? Yeah, I don't. Okay. We have a pen? So we fly a pen in. Yeah. Throw the pen over here, Nancy. <laughs> here's an exercise we do in class. It's like go ahead and try to take the pen. What do you mean? Try to take the pen. Yeah. No, no, I didn't say take the pen. Oh, I said oh, try to take the pen. So go ahead much. and try to take the pen. Uh, no, no, I didn't say don't take the pen. <laughs> I said try and take the pen. You, see what it, you can't. You can't, you can't take try. it. You can't not take it. There's right. no trying. And so that's one of the other right. things is to eliminate that word try and put an I do or don't. And the, and the, and the last word is problem. Because problem has such a negative feeling inside our body because everything's felt in the neurology, in our physiology. And when we feel things, we make decisions through how we feel about things. Mm -hmm. You change your feelings, you change your decisions. Absolutely. And so get rid of the word problem and put in challenge. And now yeah. that was really weird for me in the beginning. Like, oh yeah, I have a small challenge. People go, you have a what? Yeah. What what, the, what are you talking because about? Because it's a problem. It's I mean I, I do that in, yeah, in, yeah. My, in my book as well and I do the comparison right, because right, right. when you when you say words <clears throat> uh, loud, you know, like well like well, easy one, pain, happiness. Right. right. <clears throat> what is that they, what is the where meaning does, they get from wash it? over your body? Yeah. How does that feel exactly. inside you? And you exactly. Go, There's the yep. difference. Yep. And when we can make and I think that's what NLP does as well. Yeah. We can make people more conscious of yeah. that. Yeah. Because the subconscious that's exactly knows what it. it is. It yes. just hasn't been released. Yeah. Yep. So when you get it back to the yeah. to the conscious mind and you now are questioning yeah. that within yeah. yourself, yeah. which I love that you've yeah. done that. Yeah. You, do, you do the work. It's pretty cool to see the, yeah. the difference in the way you see life or yeah. the way you see oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, I always say that, you know, uh, colors become brighter. Right. You know, it's <laughs> that's, that's I, I, it's say, corny, but, yeah, yeah. but no, it is you, corny. when but you start to wake about? up, I mean, wow, that's so beautiful. It's right. so bright because now you're seeing things for how they are. Yes. Not not your perception of what you thought they were. Josh, where do most people focus their attention though on what doesn't work. Yeah, like because you said, that's the not programming. Right. That's the program from the exactly. past, which is you know yeah. what and that's we, what, what holds people to. back. Is and, which and is the fear, which is you know, which is becomes the the obstacle. That's their. Or, that's the that's the hardware, the software that's been downloaded onto our hard. Look at everything that we've learned up until about eight years old becomes your reality. That's right. why up until that point we we tend to believe there's a Santa Claus and an Easter Bunny and your pa right. our parents, our primary caretakers, can do no wrong. But they've downloaded and we've learned, we've modeled mm -hmm. their strategies. 
Yeah. And we've learned everything. So either people either do one of the other. They move towards that same negative programming or completely away from it. Right. And the ones like you were telling me about your childhood, yeah. you moved away from it. I don't ever want to do that again in my life. Right. I don't Absolutely. ever want to become that. Right. You know, and a lot of kids say that when they're when they're young, they go, but then they, I don't want to be like my parents. And then they wake up. And, and they wake up like their parents. Forty and they say, years later, exactly, and like, oh, right? Shit, I'm, I'm just like my parents. My parents. So it, it is a, like you said, a conscious yeah. effort to reprogram that yeah. thinking every single day. Yeah, and and so that's a, that's a great segue. So to get to people, do you find that that when you're working with people, that most of the time their answers are excuses? When the, in it, the beginning, yeah, because and so that's you, all they you, know, right? I. So how do you get through that, or how do you stop that? Okay, great. It, it's what we call a break state or a pattern interrupt. Mm -hmm. And Tony Robbins has a great story about this. When he's talking to some woman, she comes up in a seminar. She's talking, "Oh my God, my life!" You know, my parents. And then he takes some water in, in his cup and mm -hmm. he douses her with the water a little bit. She goes, "Oh my God, what are you doing?" Oh, oh, sorry. I just keep going. Uh, I, oh, well, well, I, and then he does it again. And it's the same totally thing like when yeah. people come up to you and you're talking, so what time is it? And you go, oh, it's, um, it's 1120. What was I talking about? It's, it's hard to get back to that pattern right. again. So right. when people are talking and they're in their story, and you, you understand yeah, this, yeah. when they're in their story, they're right. fully vested in it. Yeah. And so you've got to break that state. You've got to break that pattern because that's all they know, just like you said. Absolutely. That's all they understand is their story. You've yeah. got to break their story, and then you've got to fill that void with so something. So you kind of diffuse it in a way or right. distract them from it. Right. And then re reprogram. And then what, that's what a, is that's it a that, good one. Right. And how, because the brain is a real simple computer. Yeah. All it does is it runs the same neural pathways every single time. Well, if that's all you have, and that's the only result they have is that negative programming, yeah. what else What else is there? What is so what else that's could the, we install right. that's, you know, that book, The Road Less Traveled? Uh -huh. That's what the energy and the chemical brain wants to do. It wants to take the, the path of least resistance least really and happen. go to the one that does work, that's more efficient. Because right. if that's all they have is negative programming, hey, this is what I do every single time. Like relationships are a perfect example. Yeah. You, we go through the same negative relation. Not I've, every one of mine have been perfect. <laughs> Up until uh, they dump me. You must so, have, right, have right learned this at an early right. age. <laughs> lucky you. Well, wow. Like lucky I'm impressed. <laughs> yes, uh, luck. Okay. You have to, to have some pain to you know to get That's deeper. That's true, though, isn't it? Right. Pain makes, like you just said, it gives you that awareness. It does. Because yeah. what what else is out there that slaps people upside the head? It's right. usually pain. Yeah. But people avoid it at all costs. And then they, oh, that's a great one too, because a lot of times when, when something happens traumatic to people, yes. because they say that's the one, that's the, usually the ones that wake people up. Right. Not right. all the time it works. Right. You know, not every time that it works, but you notice that when something like that happens, you can, you can, that's when you have a choice. Yeah. I think it's been given yes. to you because now Absolutely. you have to make a choice. Yes. I can make myself better yep. from this. Yep. Or I can lay here or whatever hide. And, and hide. Deny and it. Deny it. And, you know, poor me. Yeah. I can, I can, oh, well, I can create this. Uh, I can yeah. become the victim yeah. even yeah. more yeah. so. Yeah. Or this. Yeah. But if you look at it, yeah. you've just been given an opportunity uh, to change, exactly. to grow. It just like shocked your yes. body. Yes. Whatever it is, yeah. that blew you up to go. Now, now it's right. time to. Now but it's time but to most roll. people don't. They don't see that. No. Because all they're concerned about is how it feels inside. Because we make decisions again based on how we feel, and right. pain hurts. Oh yeah. It hurts. All we want to do is avoid it at all costs. But you're so right, because that's exactly what it is. You have to look at that pain right. and not deny it, not alleviate well, it, but understand it. Absolutely. And learn There's, from it. Well, and we have a saying in the, or what I used to coach when I was uh, acting coaching, if you're uncomfortable, or if you're not, wait. Right. If, if, you're, you're, if you're not if you're comfortable, not, you're not growing. Right. Or if you're uncomfortable. Yes. You know, wait. Yeah, you've got <laughs> to be, you've got to be, <laughs> yeah. be comfortable you with know, being uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. If you're not, yeah, yeah. So if you're comfortable, you're not growing. Exactly. So if you're uncomfortable, yeah. meaning the yeah. pain. Yep. Yeah. That's a growth. Yeah. And what pe yeah. most people yes. don't realize, that's the freaking yes. growth, man. That's, There's a great saying true. that says, change is outside your comfort zone. There you go. That's a good one, too. Yeah. because Better than mine, I messed well, up. Well, no, I mean, no, <laughs> you, 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 you were on the right path. And that's really what it is. It's, you know, no, but I love that because it's. Um, I like that you get it, and you know this is exciting for me because this is what this way gets the juice oh, yeah. flowing. You when, know, it's like when Nancy, raise your hand, raise your hand. There she is, <laughs> see her over there. Yeah. Woo! When when Nancy contacted me because I've known Nancy for a long time about Josh's show, and I've done so many interviews, professional speaking, all over the world, and I'm like, 
I got I to gotta connect with this guy first. I got to find out who he is. So I did a lot of research on him, went through all his websites and his YouTube and his Facebook pages. And then I actually got to meet Josh. And I was like, oh, this is going to be fun when we're together. Because <laughs> yeah. we're just like-minded energy. Yeah. And he knows so much. I'm over looking at the girls. Uh, yeah. he, he knows so much they about what they I do. Care. Play it to the and, camera. And, yeah, it's all good. So it's a lot of fun yeah. to really be in connection with somebody that understands what I do because it, it is a very complicated technology. It's yeah. not something where somebody can learn and there's plenty of courses out there that'll teach you, oh, we'll certify you in like 12 hours. Like, oh, come on. Yeah. No, this is a, it, this is. It th takes a little more than it's that. A, it's a lot I studied, of, I did it like a week course um, yeah. and it, very intense. Like eight, yeah. eight hours a day for yeah, a, yeah, a, a yeah. full week. And, and I don't know, I think I had a certificate in it years ago. It was like 10 years ago. But it was, um, you, know, you know you know how it helped me? It, it helped me with my children. Really? Because one of my sons at the time was having like a hard time learning. Yeah. And I realized that, because I did the visual auditory oh, kinesthetic right, right, right. thing. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, and I realized that he was more, right. more visual. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it really affected me. And I go, yeah. oh, well, you know, that's one great tool I got from it. Yeah. The other thing I got from it was you can't really lie. Because if you're, if you're allowing the process or the oh, truth okay to, right, right. It, it for me yeah it, it made me tune into mm -hmm. not, not, I'm not not saying like I was lying but right, right. it made me tune into other people's truths and other people yeah. you know what they were what they were yeah thinking or perhaps processing and then I started That's to see I started yeah. to see how there were you know everybody has their weaknesses so yeah. for me it gave me a a higher sense of awareness I, I guess would That's say really good so that yeah. I could see yeah. you right. know I could see where right. you know Oh, they're having trouble with with whatever right. that category in their life, right. and then I would know how to cater to that a little more yeah. directly, yeah. perhaps. So. And, and I think that's what it does too. At least it did for me. And, and when I took the certification, I went through it multiple times for different teachers. Mm -hmm. Is it really opened my eyes to what's going on around me? Because the brain, there's there's two million bits of information coming into our neurology every mm. second. Two million bits are coming in, but we distill it down to seven. Yeah. Seven pieces. So 99.9% .9 of the information is lost every second. Like, for instance. That's a lot. It is a lot. We just lost a bunch right, right? there. <laughs> it's like, what? I mean, information like, you know, the way your butt feels in the seat, the way your feet feel, yeah. the light in the room, the, the, the yeah. contrast. All of that through our sensory modalities are being lost because we can only focus on the seven pieces. Now, as you just said, what seven pieces you focus on every moment, yeah. right? That's the key. If you can expand that and understand that there's more going on than your world right here, yeah, right. There's other people involved in your life. There's there's your emotions involved. There's your bodies involved. Your thoughts involved. There's other people's thinking. That's a lot going on, right? Yeah. I mean, we were talking about this before. Louise Hay, and she does a lot of work with, you know, you know Deepak Chopra, and one of my favorites, Wayne Dyer, before he passed away a couple of years ago. And it was really how do you get in touch with that, right, from the spiritual side as well. Yeah. Right, not just the mechanics side, but the right. spiritual side. But I think that's kind of what you just said before. It's like opening up your awareness. Well, yeah, and, and so like this has obviously helped you getting more because you know, I've had thirty years of training in emotional right. expression. Yeah. So it comes easy yeah. for me now. Right. But right. when I started, <clears throat> yeah. and I'm saying this is probably since you're not an actor, you don't yeah. come from the acting world. And then it's not about acting, but it's about that emotional connection. Right. This guy obviously got you more yeah. in touch oh, with yeah. that yeah. because I know you kind of yeah. live your life like yeah. that. And isn't that more fun? Isn't that oh, more exciting? Yeah. I, I th and it's one of the things I tell my wife is, and and, and the ste our stepkids too. It's like we were just talking about I had a conversation with one of the boys last night about his ex girlfriend, and it's like stop trying to make stuff up. Mm. Stop trying to figure out what's going on with somebody else. Just be honest. Yeah. Because you can't, like you were just saying, yeah. you can't lie to yourself. No. Your body will feel it. Right. But you can't lie to yourself. So the more honest you are with who you are, don't worry about what other people think about you. But that's yeah. what we do. We're yeah. so connected about <laughs> well, what, yeah. oh, I'm going to get rejected. Or, oh, this is going to feel really bad. What if they don't like me? Okay. Yeah. Marshall Sinatra wrote a book in 1974 called, What You Think of Me Is None of My Business. 
And I love that <laughs> That's title. That's a great title. It's yeah. a great title. I love the title. Because it's not important to you. Because they may right. come or go anyway. But right. you're stuck with yourself. Well, it's kind of like that. Don't care what other people think of you. And the truth is, you don't know what they think of you. And yes. Right? Yes. You don't know what. Because what people call what NLP that, is mind reading. The way mind they, reading. Yeah, you look at yeah. them and go, oh, yeah, that, that right. person just gave me a funny look. Right. And then you take it personal. Yep. yep. Or personally. And what does and that mean? Go, and then you go, well, they weren't even looking at you. Right. How do you know? Yeah. You know. Or here's yeah. the here's the here's the one that people. This is the one that I love. Oh yeah. What does this mean? Shut off, closed off energy for most people. But in NLP, we say don't mind read. You right. don't know. Maybe they're just cold. Yeah. Maybe you just hit a nerve and they're and they're upset inside and they don't want to they don't want to express it right now. Maybe their underarm smell. Right. Because <laughs> <laughs> I do that when I, when when after it a long work. day. I go, all right, I gotta shut this down. <laughs> but that is a part of a shutdown. It is. I mean, it, is it is, and that's what yeah. we do all day. We have to. The brain is what we call an NLP is a meaning making machine. Machine. We have right. to make meaning of everything. Somebody's looks. Somebody's physiology. Somebody's well, language. And that's, our own internal dialogue. Well, that's a good point because that, that's something that I'm trying to get to and I'm trying to break through too because a lot of the stuff that we learn yeah. is, a, is a cerebral stuff. It's, yeah. it's a brain thing, yeah. which takes us out of the emotional part, right. context of it. Right. So I've taken some of the NLP and stuff that I've learned and all the other process and then you know kind of tied that into my my book the process code to where now we're now we're giving it an action right so it's not just right. a word yeah but you have that yeah. word association yeah. now with an action yeah. and then now 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 we drop it out of the brain because the brain kind of gets in the way of the feelings right because the feelings want to jump right you know the feelings yeah, are yeah, impulsive they, they just yeah. want to yeah, yeah they want to express yeah. we want to yeah. go but then the brain gets in, and that's yeah. where the fear yeah. cl clicks yeah. in. So I'm trying to connect those two. Yeah, I no, know, that's that's. Know, and, I, I think and, when you, I, I love the title of your book too, because as you're just saying, you can be, and, I, and this is one of the things I'll tell my students: I can have the answer to everything you need, everything. Yeah. I could be this this god, right? Mm -hmm. And you feeling it, right? <laughs> but most people won't pay attention to it. Because no. it's it's not inside their muscle memory yet. Right. They need a process. They need a process. They need a pro they need something to do. Well, yeah. To get them out of their thinking. Well, that and what I what I always talk about. I think we we we, we briefly talked about this too. They don't have the tools. And that I too. can give you right, look. Right, right, I can give yeah. anybody this book. Right. Yeah. And any everyone else is going to have a different interpretation of it. Obviously. Yeah. A lot of people are not going to get. Or, you know, I'm not going right. to say it. Yeah. People. Some people are going to get the information and right. go. Oh, I know how to process. I know where that fits. Yeah. And that works yeah. for me. Yeah. Or. Or they're not, or they're not yeah. going to connect to it. So when you give them more of the tools, which I love the gears, I love the gears and stuff up yeah. here, which is kind yeah. of like the right. expansion of the mind, right. which is the tool that's, set. Yeah, um, I like that on there. That's the, the, for again. That's my. That's yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. thinking yeah. is the key to connect to, to more and more people. Of you know, when you it's it's just like you know any job that you have. Yeah. What do you learn? Yeah, you learn the tools of the trade, right? Right. right. So like a skill, right? It's a skill. Yeah. So this is a skill. Yeah. You know, mind, body, spirit yeah, oh yeah. is yeah. a skill. Well, I think that's why when I started talking to you and I first met you, I'm like, okay, he gets it. He gets it. It's not just and and you understand people like that. Whether somebody sitting in this chair, you meet them out in the real world, a lot of people are just talk. Yeah. They're not into the doing. They want to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But very few people process the information that they've learned. You know, Tony Robbins did a, and I keep coming back to him because most people understand know what who he, he is. Does. Yeah, yeah. He did a yeah. study about the last 30 years of his work. Mm -hmm. And this is the thing you we were just talking about. We call that, it's called shelf development programs. Okay. Because most of the stuff that we buy, not my books or programs, but other people's <laughs> programs, they sit on the shelf and nobody really gets through them or oh even opens the book or opens the program because they go, this is really great stuff. And that's one of the things I just it's despise when I learn yeah, this. Yeah. You could go to any motivational seminar and go walk out of there going, oh my God, my life is going to be awesome. And the next day you're back into your Back in I end up driving to work and go through the same oh, crap every day. You yeah. don't learn anything. I Motivation for 24 hours. I, You've got to have the uh, process. I know. You've got to have the change uh, work. What? What? Are, what are you, you what? can say it out loud. Knows. The producer's <laughs> calling in, calling the shots over here. <laughs> the book, this one? Mm. Oh, the big book? This one. Oh, yeah, put it in front of you. There you go. Don't buy my book. I'm, <laughs> no, don't buy my book. Yeah. Those are called negations. No, 
going back to that, I love that because um, that that's, a, that's another thing I talk about too. Yeah. It's it's not only just the process, but it's it's yeah it's doing it. Yeah, and that's... I mean, repetition is a part of it. You oh, know, absolutely. Repeating, the, yeah, repeating yeah, yeah. a new step. Well, the motivation to continue the program, the oh, process. I know what I was going to say, this, the self-help books of not finishing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I make a joke about it that I, yeah. I read 75 books one summer when I was like 25. Right, yeah. Now, I didn't say I read all of them. Right. Or all of, of the, the, book, the right. entire book. Which is, take the nuggets But I did of exactly that. Right. I would, and I yeah. go, wow, you know, and it, yeah. and it was all the trendy books. And I would yeah. put them up on a shelf. Yeah. And my friends would come over and like, wow, you read that? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, man. Yeah. I read that. And that one, too. Check it out. You know, and you're like, you show them off. And that's part of, that's part of your, that's part of your armor, your yeah, medals, you know? Like, like, yeah. It, it's, it made me feel proud. Yeah, and, absolutely. And, and, and it was fun. But what, then I, what does, but what did you take away from it? Exactly. That's, that's what I was just saying. What are the nuggets that you walked away from? Sometimes I can go right to a chapter and go, bam, oh, that's what I needed. Or right? you go back and go, oh, yeah, I remember that now. Exactly. If you go back and Right, because sometimes because information is not, not available to you when you're reading and it. And so here's, here's, like here's, here's again my writing. point, which I think, I think this really kind of marries with NLP, is putting it into action. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You can, yeah. You, I have, okay, so I've gathered the information. I've yeah. read enough books. I know, I, and, and what I talk about in my book, the, the thing that I think that for me, so most self-help books never gave me and it's something that I was searching for was the solution. Yeah. They don't give you a solution. Yeah. They yeah. give you a yeah. theory, yeah. or a, in right. my opinion. Right. I'm not, I'm right. not criticizing no, 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 self no. I, I, I'm just yeah. saying in general yeah. Yeah. that I felt like they gave yeah. me a theory. They yeah. didn't give me a step. Yeah. They didn't give me a process. Yeah. Yes. I mean, yes. The, the, there's, um, I forget, Julia Cameron, I believe, wrote The Artist's Way, uh-huh. which is a workbook. Yeah. Which is great, but I had a hard time finishing it. Right, you know, but right. it's a great it's a yeah. great book because yeah. it does get you to do yeah, action and steps. Yeah, and that's that's the thing. You know, if you continue, the motivation now has to be there for you to continue or to learn or what, what's your what's your outcome from doing it. So here's a here's a good question. I don't know if you've <clears throat> thought about this. So those people that have gone into your let's say they they come to your workshop or they come to um, a speaking engagement or a seminar that you're doing. And they walk out, and they're exactly yeah. like you say. Yeah. They're high yeah. on life. Yeah. They're full of it. Yeah. They buy the book. They talk to you. They want to. Oh. They want to get a, a, a you know an autograph at the end. Yeah. And they and then now how, what? Yeah. Now what? Yeah, yeah, is there a follow yeah. up or is there how how what is the way to, to keep okay. that keep that Great audience question. going? Two two two. Uh, I mean, it's two parts. One is when I'm speaking to companies, right? If they're uh, uh, people fly me around everywhere and. You know, they'll put me up in a hotel for the night and I come in and I speak for like 90 minutes to, you know, a couple thousand people. What can you do in 90 minutes? Right. Right. So you impart this information. One of the things that, because I've been, and you've probably been sitting in the audience. Yeah. You, okay, you learn some information. And what you just said was so important because they teach you the what to do, but not the how to do it. How to do it. And I walked out of reading those books, attending those seminars, I said, I'm not... No, not me. So yeah. when I speak to an audience, I say, I'm going to show you one thing today. One. You're right. going to walk away with one task. Because yeah. in every one of my books, and I just finished my second app on the iPhone app, I give them a task at the end. You've got to do something. You've got to do something. So right. in the speech, right. I go through the information. Usually it's about communication skills and how to build rapport and influence people, whether it be sales training. We just did a big workshop on a big giant real estate company, how to influence other people to buy from you, because that's really what it is. Right? Uh-huh. And it's giving them something to do. Now, when we do it in, a, in our class setting, we're, they're working one-on-one with each other. Right. So the process is visual, auditory, kinesthetic, like we're talking right, before. Right, yeah. We show them what to do yeah. on, the, on the screens. We get them writing it down. We get them kinesthetically working with each other, and then they come back after the exercise is over and go, okay, what'd you guys learn? So they're getting it from all three modalities, and hopefully they ingrain it into the muscle. Because how'd you learn to drive a car? Not by watching videos and reading a manual. You had to sit in the car. Just, and, and it's why I keep coming back to your book is the process. You learn how to drive a car through the process of driving. You obviously don't watch ESPN and Days of Thunder. Do you remember that? I, I don't remember <laughs> with Tom Cruise. Yeah, and he goes, they're like, hey, where'd you learn to drive? ESPN, the coverage right. is amazing, or something like that. Like, right. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. Sorry, though. I had to put that in. It just took me back. Yeah, exactly. Right. But that's, exactly, like, right. Like, but that's oh, not yeah. the way it works. You have no, to. No, you have to. You have yeah, to you, physically. So that's do what like. we do in the class to answer that second part of your question is we put them actually in the car. 
you know, whatever problem they have, whether it's goal setting or alleviating, you know, if they're alleviating a phobia, we, we have we have allergy process. We get rid of allergies in like a half hour. Right. I mean, a process change to do phobias. I mean, if you have a phobia to anything, elevators, snakes, Wow. It would take 10 to 20 years to get rid of if you go through a therapist. Yeah. Well, Richard and John distilled out what they were doing and then basically put it into a technique. Now, there's other things involved in it, but I've done it with people. Like, oh, my God, get rid of, you know, so what getting is on a, a plane. So what is like a normal, a normal time, uh, if, there's a, if there's a normal or a, a general time frame, to get people to, like, to, you know, flip that switch on and change? First, and we talked about this, too, you have to want to. Yeah, you gotta yes. want to. Yeah. It's like if you're gonna. Uh, here's an example. I'm working on my PhD in clinical hypnosis right now, and people come. Oh, can you make me stop smoking? Oh, can you make me lose weight? Yeah, yeah. you could do that too. Yeah, <laughs> but you're not committed, right? Because once people decide, the Greek word means decure to cut off all other options. Once you decide. 90% of your physiology has already made the decision. Right. Then it's just a matter of kicking them over the edge. And whether it be a class or a book or something like that, once they've made the decision, it's already done. It's already done. Right. But people just have very weak decision-making muscles. They just go, oh yeah, I would have really liked to lose weight, or boy, it'd be nice if I made a little bit more money, or it'd be nice. What am I doing? I'm doing a girl or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I like doing to some some. <laughs> It happens in this room. Don't worry about it. <laughs> eh, I want change. <laughs> Who is that? I don't know. It's maybe somebody that wants and you, change. And, but you're, <laughs> and you're saying you don't have damage from the past? I don't think, like, really? <laughs> Those relationships. That was embarrassing me. Okay. So, yeah. So, I think that's the first thing is people have to want to change. Welcome to live show, Right? Man. They, <laughs> they have to want to change. And that's, yeah. that's usually it. Once they do that, is yeah. when I have people. I just had a gentleman come to class, Max Gordon. Hi, Max. He's probably watching. And um, he owned his uh, uh, ambulance service he yeah. had in Orange County. He had like 30 trucks. He says, man, I want to increase my business like 20%. He was making like $16 million a year. I'm like, okay, what's that going to take? Well, he was so committed. It only took wow. me a couple of times working with him professionally in a coaching setting and, and in class. Like the next six months, he's like, oh, my God, I already did it. Now what? I'm like, what? what? You really? Wow. He's like, yeah, what's next? I'm like, what do you want? <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I worked with another couple, and you might even know them, uh, Janet and Joe. They have a film company where they teach you behind-the-scenes stuff. Their course okay. is like 10 months long. Okay. And they take you through every little nuance of working with the cameras and sets and all this. And same thing with them. I said, what do you want? And it, it's like, if you ever seen that... that TV show Marco Simonis and The Prophet, he kind of takes business owners oh, yeah, that yeah, are yeah, failing yeah, yeah. and he turns them around. Yeah. Well, it's usually because of two reasons. One is the owners are too controlling. Yeah. They don't have they, a vision outside their yes. store or whatever. That's usually what I've watched. Or they're it. not controlling enough or they're yeah. not in control of anything around them. Or it's a family them. thing to where it, it, and they somebody's can't running the it. Yeah. Absolutely. And yeah, so too many cooks in the kitchen exactly. kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what it takes is getting commitment and then finding out what they're doing that's not working. And then, and for me, I was, I, and I'm really good. I'm really good at uncovering what doesn't right. work. I'm a great right. problem solver. So when yeah. somebody comes and says, oh, I'm doing this, I, and I get a little more information, ask them, okay, what are you doing? What's not working? What specifically do you want to do? You start digging down. Then they just basically evolve the process of them. They, and then they go, oh. A lot of times they'll go, oh my God. I Never yeah. thought of it like that. Right, right because man. like you just said, it's the awareness. Yeah. They well, kind of get that were, aha moment. I always look at it that. Those are those uh, those opportune times where they were and they were ready at that moment. Yeah, absolutely. Cause, cause you could have yeah, yes. said it the day yes. before, a yes. week before, the exactly. month before. Yep. And you, had a, you hit yep. them with the right information at yep. the right time. Yep. That's good on you because yep. you're obviously aware enough to know how to connect to them. Yes. How to connect yeah. to, that, yeah. to that moment. And, you know, that made me think of a question while you were, while you were talking is, um, to to get people individually um, on a daily basis, and this is kind of what we we both yeah. we both I think we have a both we have a similar yeah. um, practice or passion for people is really to ask them you know what's working right. what's not working right and then you know it could be it could be a daily motivation it could yeah. be whatever you yeah. know to wake up in the morning yeah. and go because I think for Let's just talk not businesses, but let's talk people in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, we go back to the, I think that's their fear of making that change. Yeah. Of like because they think it's working, yeah. and then yeah. they look. You know, we have to. So we have to somehow get them to separate a little bit from yeah. their own mind. And I think, like you said, it's the truth. 
Yeah. Knowing what their true the truth look, hurts sometimes. You, too. Yeah, it's and like, that's yeah. exact and that's the problem because people don't want to admit they're I know I want a relationship. I'm going back to that person. You're there to that. <laughs> I want a relationship, but I don't know why they well, failed we, in we, the past. It's always been them. Person. Yeah, we feel we feel for that person. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like you gotta look at you gotta look at yourself. Mm -hmm. Because whether it be a relationship or a business or a career, it's not those things. You are the same person you are in every relationship. You take yourself and your own problems. G great book. Do, do you know who Barbara DeAngelis is, the relationship expert? Oh, my God. Heard of it. Heard of it. Yeah. Okay. You, you, now that you that I've said it. Yeah. She does a great workshop for relationships, and she this is how she enters the room with 5,000 people. She's walking on stage from off stage, and she's carrying this big, giant rope. And she's dragging this thing over her yeah. shoulder. She's struggling, but you can't see what's at the end of the rope. Finally, she gets to the center of the stage, and this big giant wagon shows up with all this luggage on top. And she's struggling. She drops the rope. She goes, That's you in every relationship. You drag your baggage along yeah. wherever you go. Right. And I was wow. like, Oh, that's, that's a great, great metaphor. It's a great, a great visual. Right? Too. Yeah. Exactly. But that's the same thing, whether it be relationships or career or your social life or your kids or your, whatever it is, that's what we do. Yeah. We so you have to be truthful with yourself and go. What am I doing? How am Absolutely. I affecting that? Because if not, you'll keep repeating. Exactly. Like you said, yes. You know, and you, the definition and you, of insanity. Doing and the same we, thing we all over know. Again. You know. The, yeah. You know. It's like you do that. And you bring yeah. in because you think about it. Every relationship you create. Yeah. It, they, it didn't just happen. Right, right. It is as though, oh, wow, you walk in, you meet somebody, and then the relationship is yeah, formed. Yeah. Whatever you brought to it, yeah. whatever they brought to yeah. it, that's the creation yeah. of it. Yeah. And it, and it, and if you're bringing that baggage, or yeah. if you're bringing oh, yeah. the, the shit, or yeah. whatever, yeah. then it's going to be, yeah. you know, Who that. the hell so, wants to take ownership of a failed relationship? Yeah. No way. Or who wants to, it's <laughs> kind of like, you, you know, um, well... I'll say men in general, yeah. because we have not you and I though. Cause not we're, you and I. We're very we, open, we, we, aren't we, evolved. girls? We've evolved. Yes, from that. but no, we're I, higher than most. But <laughs> I was there before, though. You know, we all we had to go Absolutely. But we have we have issue where we have trouble. In most most men, generally speaking. Yeah. We have trouble expressing our feelings, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. So then we we use anger or we use fear, right. fear, right. anger, kind of type the same thing, yeah. Yeah. and denial and avoidance and avoidance, yeah, uh, to you know uh, mask that, yeah. And so instead yeah. of going, yeah. wow, you know that really hurt my feelings, yeah, right. We go, fuck what? you, I don't want to see you I didn't hurt you your feelings. Yeah. That's not my fault. Or it's like, yeah, <laughs> right? it's like you you just you you exit with with that, yeah. and and I think. I think that's key, to, you know, for people to see yeah. that you know, men, you know, we're here talking, we're expressing feelings, emotions. Yeah. It's really, it's a, it's a healthy thing. That's that's the way. Oh you my know, God! It, yeah, it, 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 it's much more fun doing yeah. this than like. Well, hey, I think know, I so. think that I think that you you just hit it on the head. If if I could give anybody the gift, if there would be the gift, it would be the ability because I think that the neurology and the brain, the body and the brain work together, and they all it's designed to do is express our thinking. Right. Thought comes from where? Nowhere. We don't know where thought comes from. It's right. Whether it's made up in the head or it comes from the creator, whatever you call God. But the body has to express it. Mm -hmm. it's, gotta, it's gotta alleviate the thinking because the thinking becomes a, an emotion, like you were saying. Right. The emotion, if it gets stuck in the body, it develops illness, there you go. problems, yeah. you know, I, I do a whole down, workshop depression, on oh yeah depression I mean, all of that yeah. absolutely and yeah. look at what we're dealing with nowadays with all these shootings yeah you know what the answer is family like you were just saying yeah. with your kids with your kids we were talking about before expressing how yeah. you feel uh, and be honest about, about with it because day. those friggin' freaks that are taking somebody's yeah. life in their own hands all it is is they need attention they the the, <laughs> the no, human the right? human <laughs> condition wants two things recognition yeah. and appreciation yeah. and if you don't get it from the people that you care about uh -huh. Uh -huh. if you don't get it from the people you care about you're gonna go find it in a negative way yeah. to get attention whether it be the you know Manson did that he says yeah. I want to be famous but he used pawns to do it he used other people you know yeah. uh, the Zodiac killer did the same thing so they they launched this tirade of anger yeah. And to express their their want and desire through a negative form. It's kind of funny because it comes down to that whole cliche. We just need a hug. 
Great. I mean. No. Okay. Come here. No. Get out. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> you just said you want to express it as a man. Come on. I'll hug you. I'll hug you at the end of the show. Um, speaking of which, we have about five, uh, what about five minutes? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So let's talk more about you. Not that we haven't been talking about you. Oh, but, it's all, it's uh, all you know, good. It's your show. This is your show. You know, it's all about you. It's like I said. One of the things, the gift that I could give people would be the ability to express themselves. And the challenge with most of us. We've learned from our primary caretakers, usually about eight years old, eight, they say 85% of who we are is ingrained, hardwired into us by the time we're eight or 10 years old. Yeah. So very few people change. By the time you're 16, it's 95%. By the time you're 21 years old, 100% of you is who you are. Right. And very few people make a conscious effort right. to make the change. And usually, like you were saying before, is there's gotta be so much pain yeah. that they gotta, go, they gotta look at themselves. And, it, and then even then yeah. they go, uh, no, I'm going to go back into my comfort zone. So what what my my goal is, and and one of the, I think we talked about this too with your book is it's just to help people get them past those the, that negative programming. Now, not to say that all programming that we've learned is kids, it's negative, is negative. But yeah, yeah. It, it just that it could be because the same program could work for you absolutely. and not work yeah. for me, absolutely. Right? So and you got to you got to acknowledge it. that too, and and, right. and, and, and right. I talk about that as yeah. well. It, it's like what is working for you, right? Which is one of your questions, right? And the other thing, it's really just breaking the patterns, right? So you you, you look at it. Yes, yeah. it is a programming, but that programming became a pattern. It became right. a habit, right? It be, it's just like and you know why you know if if you're overweight or why do you eat so much or why do you you know it's it's yeah. it's a pattern that uh, you know and, and obviously there's there's a deeper yeah, meaning yeah, yeah, there, yeah, yeah. but yeah. just to stay yeah. on a on a you know I guess a higher level. And and it, and it easier fix is that yeah. if you acknowledge that that's, that's a pattern, it. that is that's, that's the key, it. and that's the hardest thing yeah. because we don't want to we don't look at ourselves and say I'm broken. Or but and, and NLP we don't we don't say that you're not broken. You just have bad recipes for doing yeah. things. We can change the recipe. It's like having a bad recipe for chocolate cake, and you've been making it for years, but nobody likes it. It's like okay, let's look at the recipe. Let's just change. Sometimes it's one, one element. One Maybe thing, it's just yeah. the internal dialogue you have. Yeah. Or the way it shows up in your body, we can change that, right? And that's easy to do. Just that you have to recognize the fact that there's something not working first. Yeah, changes change. I think, and, and maybe there's another word for it. Maybe we don't use the word change because I know people yeah, kind of cringe with the word yeah, change because what does change mean to them? Fear. Fear. It, yeah. it, it, yeah. I think it, it, yeah. they hear fear. Yeah. They don't see. They don't go. They don't look wow. out. It's the they, don't, they don't see you know yeah. amazing results. Yeah. They go. Right. Oh, yeah. That means it's going to because that takes them out of their comfort zone. It does. You know? It does. You know, and you, and you look at it, and so you and I together, I think, as individuals. The more and more we work on this, the more and more we we share. I think with with the public and with people yeah. is we're, we're gonna we're gonna fine tune more of those yeah. ways to affect people without yeah. without scaring them yeah. or without shutting them down shutting them down. So they then they have a they have a, a desire to change yeah. or a desire to to um, question this perhaps. I wish I wish that I wish they would teach this stuff in elementary schools. Yeah, it would be nice. If we'd, they, we'd, have, we'd have powerful children. Well, I would say, Powerful. I, I will say this. Uh, I always, I always say this. You know, in the past, I've said acting saved my life. Yeah. Because it, it I threw myself into it, obviously, right. and it, I, you know, I always say it kind of called me. But when I did that, it was the best therapy. It yeah. was the best. Yeah. Because it like it kicked my right. ass. It threw me on the ground. Li literally yep. threw me on the ground yep. in in a ball of goo. Yeah. Going, I don't know what to do with all this emotion. Yeah. And, and that's the pain. And the pain the pleasure pain principle. was coming out. And and uh, you realize that like if kids were right asked to express themselves, like right. you said, right. in a school. Yeah. What are they taught in school though? Sit down, shut up. Don't talk to your friends. Don't it's talk to your. Like, read, read, read. Here's this. Here's this assignment. Go right. home and do your. How'd homework. that work for you by the time you're 21? Yeah. What that information do? We're not taught that. We're. Here's the two problems. Ninety percent of what you learn in school, you'll never is never use. Right? The only the two problems that we have as an, an adults, the two problems that we have are relationships and money, and those are the two things that we're never, never taught, taught in school. Right. True. Something's wrong, folks. Yeah. Economics. Josh and I are going on. We're going to change the education. We're changing system. that shit. We're, We're starting with it. 
all our kids. Yeah, <laughs> they're going to be the yeah, guinea no, pigs. Yeah, no, those, those are those are the, those are the guinea pigs. That start with. <clears throat> well, we do, we do, we we pass. But you know, we pass it on by by doing what? We pass it on by doing it ourselves. Yeah, absolutely. And we teach by they model by, you. We we, we yeah. teach by 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 yeah. being a leader or being being the forefront of yeah. that. And, oh my God, we could do a whole show just on. When you were telling me about how you changed your child's perceptions, yeah. we could do a whole hour just on that because every parent would want to go. I'm tuning into that show. Yeah. What What could I do to help my kids? Right. Yeah. Because you you you. It. I agree. It, but I knew I knew at an early age. I knew it was there. Yeah. I knew it was yeah. there, and yeah. I knew that I, I knew that I I knew that I knew. I just yeah, didn't. Right. I didn't have the yeah, tools yeah, yeah, for yeah, it. Yeah, I didn't yeah. have the vocabulary yeah. for it. Yeah. But I felt it. Yeah. That was the difference. It's in my free mini course, though. Is it? Do it. Yes. Do it. LANLP.com <laughs> forward slash free. <laughs> yeah, just don't do that voice with it. Yeah, I think you'll be that. okay. <laughs> that that might scare them a little bit. But anyway. Oh, man. Wow, well, this has been really fun. It's, yeah. It goes by quickly, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, it it's does. Like God, you, I'm like, you, what time is it? You're like, like you, yeah, you drive an hour and a half to get yeah. here, and you're here for 10 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> it's like, that's what it feels like. Very uh, wonderful, man. Absolutely. I appreciate absolutely. it. Absolutely, yeah. You're now I get a hug. Oh, see. Yeah, do it. He's a this good man. Seriously, oh, get no, out, get I mean, out, get out. No, yeah. I know, right? She picked him. Uh, <laughs> she can take ownership of that. She picked him. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's it's mutual. So, <laughs> hey, thanks you all for tuning in. We'll see you next Tuesday at 11 a.m. LA Talk Radio. John James Santangelo, right Josh here. Josh Carmichael. Let's do it. I'm so vain. We'll see you next week. <laughs> all right. You're listening to I'm So yeah. Vain with Josh Carmichael only. God, we could have three hours, dude. This would have been. Yeah.